So a supercomputer compared to a regular computer, um, a good analogy for that might be um, a superhero versus a regular person. So a Superman can fly, whereas regular people can't, but they can do something that regular computers couldn't possibly do. And yet, a supercomputer is something that has extraordinary capabilities, um, but it might, they might be capabilities that are somewhat narrowly focused on a particular area. Supercomputing and generally computing power has become like the bread and butter of research. Actually, nowadays, it's just as critical to innovation and to breakthroughs in discoveries in science and in technology as are using test tubes or going to the hands-on empirical lab. And that's because as we have more data and better mathematical models of the systems that we study, we can use computers to help us run simulations, experiments, and analyze this data. The hallmark of our faculty is really tying together computational and data-intensive methods and algorithms with solving the real applications that come from the world around us. We look at problems ranging from computational sustainability to looking at keeping the nation safe from cyber attack to looking at financial transactions and understanding how money flows through organizations. If you look at what society sees in high-performance computing, uh, HPC is really sort of a truly behind-the-scenes technology. No one really sees very much of that directly, but what they do see is the benefits of using high-performance computing. Whether it's looking at material science, types of research being done in medicine or in technologies for traffic movement, you have to simulate a large amount of information to be able to accurately get a picture of what's going on. All of that you can do in a laboratory, but it's so much easier to do that with some sort of, of analysis and, and simulation with HPC. So Georgia Tech is a pretty unique place in the sense that it has experts in so many important areas from computing to engineering to urban planning. And one thing that is a very common thread between all of these scientists is that most of them actually use data or big data in computing for their research. And so from that perspective, it's the best breeding ground for innovation in supercomputing and in application areas that leverage supercomputing. Uh, so one of the biggest and most exciting developments is the new CODA building. And the CODA building will be this uh, space that's going to have a big data center attached to it. And it will co-locate uh, interdisciplinary teams of people to work on problems that come from certain areas. So there's two components to CODA. Uh, one is an office tower. Uh, one is the data center. Uh, the office tower is approximately 600,000 square feet, about half of which will be leased to Georgia Tech. Uh, and the data center, uh, that's more like 80,000 square feet and then somewhere around 10 megawatts worth of power uh, supplied to computers. CODA is going to house not only academic units from Georgia Tech, but also industry. This partnership is exciting for us to accelerate the pace of development in data sciences and analytics. So we'll be able to take our students, our researchers, with industry, both local and nationally, and really be able to change the face of analytics in the future world we live in. The bottom line is computing is becoming fundamental to doing research. That's happening at tech, that's happening across the nation, across the world. So if you want to build and run a supercomputer, you need to think about the entire system. So that's everything from hardware to the operating system to um, the kinds of applications that will run to what kind of algorithms will you need. Um, and Georgia Tech has a really unique strength in that um, it has people that covers all of these areas in the system stack. Um, and I think that's what's really cool and exciting about being at Georgia Tech and being interested in supercomputing. 